Howdy guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. How we doing? Hope you guys are well. So today is the day in the Harvest Fair where the Fearsome Gang is now available. That Yes, that's right. Let's go ahead and have a quick look see you over here. We've got about 10 days, 15 hours ago at the time of this recording, but if we go over to the Harvest Fair, we can actually see the Fearsome Gang. So we need to head over to the fair and basically go ahead and try and clear it this time around and see if it's any different or if it's the same as before but basically unholy spirits gang terrorizes the fair it's just the fairy tale wait have you seen that let's head over to the harvest fair so basically we're just going to do that today and, and have a bit of a look at it and see how it compares to the other events as well now this is obviously also going to increase our intake for pumpkins as well that we can drop into the cauldron so we've got that going for us as well so let's go ahead and head over to what's that fella's name again it is rick ford of course so let's go ahead and have a bit of a chat with him all right i found the lair it's dark where the witch lichen and pumpkin head jack meet with their gang uh, it's time to find out who they are unholy spirits or just simple bandits Okay, we're coming for you, girls like brave souls, you know. Okay, well there, well, there you go. Good to know, Rick. <laughs> Good to know indeed. All right, let's go see what this is all about. Um, all right, so we've got to defeat the Holy Spirits. Now, can we... Um, I think we can actually um, open this up and use one of our... Um, one of these animals here. So let's go ahead and... Um, okay, Rick, get out of the way. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. And uh, let's see what we've got over here. Oh, I remember this. This isn't new. This isn't new. Let's go ahead and try and take these fellas out. Now, look, with anything in these sort of um, situations, you want to try and get these guys in a bit of a cluster, of course, so that way you can actually take out these fellas in a quicker fashion and then obviously go ahead and take out the main pumpkin. But we've got a couple of those boomers as well, interesting enough. Uh, so let's go ahead and take out Jack the pumpkin head. Now these first initial runs at it, as I've mentioned in the initial videos, are the, the more easier ways to um, take out these, um, well, do the events because they're really set on the easiest level. So they're not going to be that hard. So we're going to obviously go back and actually do this, of course, and basically um, see how, how hard mode actually fares compared to what we just went through. All right. So look what I found, a blood vow. There are dozens of signatures on the document. Uh, so that's the trick. Bandits agree to replace one another in case of them dies. If one dies, the other one wears his mask and costume and that's the secret of their mortality. You won this bet. Jill will tease me about reminding me of the superstitions in my life. But on the other hand, I've got a thousand opportunities to demonstrate my courage. <laughs> there you go. Will you accompany me, accompany me to the next witch hunt? Well, let's go ahead and complete that. So that's it. There's really nothing else in here. Would be nice if this uh, chest was accessible, but unfortunately it's not, which is a bit of a, a bit of a bummer, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a downer. But look, you can always get some free uh, wood here if you choose to do so. And there's nothing over here for us to, you know, obviously interact with here. No other pumpkins that we can actually uh, procure would be actually nice if that was the case. But unfortunately, that's not not meant to be not meant to be at all and notice I didn't actually use any food buffs or anything like that so there you go alrighty well as we jump out I think we go over to Rick Ford and we can also accept this now this is actually going to give us two chips as opposed to one so that's actually a nice little buff a nice little boost there now I don't think we, we need to interact with um, with Buffalo Jill here she's still pretty standard still normal so let's go ahead and do that and obviously let's go ahead and rid ourselves of our poor hp and look we got nearly over 5k so i think we're going to be okay in this sense here so we are doing hard mode straight up as i like to do it as well so i want to see how much or how bad hard mode is hard mode if you guys know what i mean so yeah, I don't think it's going to be that difficult, if anything. Let's go ahead and tame you. If anything, you guys will probably want to bring your own pets as well. So I'm going to line myself up here and do the exact same thing. Are we, are we doing anything? Hello? Hello? Okay, there we go. Alright, we're on. Alright, so I'm going to take out both of these fellas here. And um, take out 
the witch, of course, and as you can see, they are actually a little bit more difficult than they were before, so, as you can see, just quickly go ahead and do the old heal, take out Mr. Jack, he's going to do a bit of damage as well with the dynamite as well, spraying around everywhere, so, as you can expect, we've got a bit of a fight on our hands, right, so, go along, so this is a bit of a, bit of actually a, um, more difficult actually than I last remember it, if I'm being honest with you guys. So let's just try and take out the, um, these fellows here, which we're getting towards anyway, the end of one of them, which is fine. Get rid of the lichen. These ghost boomers are always going to be a bit of a, an annoyance. So lichen's gone, and I'd better heal before I actually die myself. Alright, which need to get rid of you, of course. Why are you leaving? Come back. Let me take you out. And of course you're going to disappear on me. Alright, now the witch is nearly done. But we can try and take out Jack the Pumpkinhead, of course. Thank you very much. And now it's just... Oop, I better heal. Better pop those on. There we go. And it's just, you know what, I'm going to switch over to the Schofield. He is healing himself as well, by the way. So, yeah, look, it's just us three now. And I don't think there's going to be any other intrusions of um, enemies either. So, I don't think there's going to be any um, any uh, ghost wolves or anything like that. So, I think we should be right. It's just a case now of just um, taking him out. So, he shouldn't be healing or anything, which is a plus for us. So, it's just a matter of us just going around in circles here. Just avoiding the dynamite, um, basically, on my end. There we go. Look at that. Fairly easy, actually. And look, I am using tier 5, everything just about, um, except for the the, uh, the food buffs, which, look, to be honest with you, I don't think it's going to be a make or break for a lot of people, so let's do this one more time. I want to get those additional chips. Um, but let's just quickly go ahead and just use these as the heal up. There we go. And look, I'm actually just under half uh, durability on my... Um, on my armor so I would probably expect this to break actually uh, which is not going to be good for me but that's fine uh, okay thank you and let's go ahead and do this one more time let's see how we go actually hello again let's go let's do it so look honestly to be perfectly fair with you guys I don't know what would be the most preferable way in taking out these guys um, you know, if you do it one by one, or if you're trying to take him out in a cluster like I'm trying to do at the moment. So, it'd be interesting to work out what would be the most um, preferred way of doing it. I think maybe the lichen's probably the way to do it, only because, well that one actually doesn't disappear as you're trying to attack, so I guess that's probably the best way, maybe. Because you see the witch, the witch continuously just um, runs around, right? And if you can try and get both the, um, the pumpkin head as well as the witch, oh Jesus, let's just quickly heal, let me just quickly, oh no, and of course I got killed. Oh, I got stuck by the bloody tombstone. That wasn't supposed to be part of the plan, at all actually. So we failed that one. <laughs> it just goes to show that, um, you know, things do happen, and unfortunately now I'm going to have to heal well, I'll actually repair all of my um, all of my stuff, so including that, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to sort that out eventually. But oh well, that's gonna be a me problem anyway. But yeah, look, I mean, it is a difficult one, and I probably would have survived if I actually had the right um, healing. Um, I mean, I use the the ointments over here, so these guys, so the excellent ointment, which is only a tier 3, so probably not the right ones to use, I probably should have used maybe a tier 4, maybe that of a tier 5, so I think that would have been the way to go, um, possibly could have used some of the other food buffs as you're seeing on the screen here, um, yeah, but look, I think I had the, the right, uh, sorry, the right weaponry, no problem with that, um, but for everything else, um, you know, look, I probably should have used other other gear in that respect there um yeah clothing would have been fine I, I, I probably should have swapped over clothing if i'm being honest um just thinking about it really but you know just so i don't have to worry about it 
uh, losing its core durability, you know. And I'll have to sort of replay back the um, uh, the footage there as well. I don't know whether or not did I lose all my durability by then. I probably did. That's probably why I died. Um, I wasn't really focusing on that. I was just sort of trying to focus to get away and heal at the same time. So, yeah, look, it is what it is. It happens to the best of us. So, you know, it can't be helped. You can only do what you can only do. But look, as you can see, I've nearly got 30 chips there as well for spinning the wheel. Um, I'd like to get a little bit more and just see how we go with that. And we'll make a make another video dedicated to just spinning the wheel and see what we get from it. But I think we're, that's going to go ahead and do it. I know it's only a quick one, but I just wanted to pop this in and show you guys what it's all about. It can be done. It can be done. Can it be done on a multiple scale? Yes, you can. You're just going to need to bring a little bit more gear with you as you go um, as you go through it. Maybe for those higher end players, just a little bit above myself, you're probably going to be rocking tier six everything, and I think that's probably going to be the way to go. Um, tier five was a little bit of a stretch, I think. Um, but again, like I said, if I had a little bit more in the um, in the inventory, I think I would have been okay. To be perfectly fair with you guys, but anyway. That's it. Um, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out this one here. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and share if you can. And if you guys are new to the channel or not, and you'd like to see more, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty, guys. Take it easy from me. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.